A warning from one of Australia's biggest banks. Record profit for the company behind Peter Alexander and Just Jeans. And the ex bikey caught up in the Perth Mint scandal dresses up for court. Welcome to Trading Up, a collaboration by The West Australian and Graffer. I'm Sarah Hewan. This episode is brought to you by Stake, Australia's most recommended broker. The CEO of one of Australia's big four banks has sounded a warning shot that the current banking crisis has the potential to become a global financial crisis. We shouldn't be surprised in a funny way that things like this, this happen. It's too early to call it a, I mean, it's a crisis for some, obviously, but is it a financial crisis in the typical, who knows? Does it have the potential to be one? Yes, it does have the potential to be one. The comments from the ANZ chief followed Germany's largest bank, Deutsche Bank, hitting the skids on Friday. But unlike Credit Suisse, Deutsche actually reported a profit of just under 10 billion Aussie dollars last year. And it's payday for shareholders of Premier Investments, who were awarded a dividend after record sales. Premier Investments manages brands like Just Jeans, Peter Alexander and Smiggle. Shareholders were given a chunky 70 cent fully franked dividend. So clearly people are still spending, even though interest rates have been trending higher. Thai gold miner Kingsgate Consolidated is shaking the tin, seeking to raise $46 million to get its Chhatri gold mine in Thailand cranking again. The mine was shut down by Thai authorities back in 2016, but it reopened this month and needs the fuel to keep it going. Short-term accommodation provider Elogio has received a marriage proposal from Next Capital. Next Capital has made a bid for 30 cents a share, which sent Alloggio shares surging. Alloggio is Italian for accommodation, and the company is one of Australia's largest short-term rental accommodation operators, other than Airbnb, of course. Shares of biotech company Impedimed have skyrocketed today after a US cancer network recommended screening all cancer survivors at risk of lymphedema with a device created by Impedimed. Impedimed currently has the only device on the market that has FDA approval. Latitude Financial has admitted the cyber attack is far worse than first reported. Almost 8 million driver's license numbers have been stolen. The company says customers of Harvey Norman, JB Hi-Fi and the good guys are likely impacted. And the data dates back to 2005, so if you've bought anything interest-free for the last decade, you might want to change your passwords. And notorious former Hell's Angel Dane Brakovich fronted court today, wearing a t-shirt that appeared to taunt authorities about his link to the Perth Mint scandal. In June, Brakovich was reportedly allowed to walk into the Mint store and buy $27,000 worth of gold with just a check of his driving licence. He also sported a Mr T style gold chain and a gold ring on every finger. You can find more business news content on thewest.com.au or to see all the data and insights behind this video, check out graffa.com. Thanks for joining me on this special episode of Trading Up. I'm Sarah Hewan, see you next time.